Every polygon has interior angles and exterior angles. Today we are going to learn about interior angles and the interior angle formula. From the simplest polygon, a triangle, to the infinitely complex polygon with insides, sides of polygons close in a space. Every intersection of sides creates a vertex, and that vertex has an interior and exterior angle. Interior angles of polygons are within the polygon. Though Euclid did offer an exterior angles theorem specific to triangles, no interior angle theorem exists. Instead, you can use a formula that mathematically describes an interesting pattern about polygons and their interior angles. This formula allows you to mathematically divide any polygon into its minimum number of triangles, since every triangle has interior angles measuring 180 degrees. Multiplying the number of dividing triangles times 180 degrees gives you the sum of the interior angles. It looks like this. S equals the sum of interior angles, and N equals the number of sides of the polygon. Try the formula on a triangle. S equals 3 minus 2 times 180 degrees. If we solve for S, we get S equals 180 degrees. Well, that worked, but what about a more complicated shape like a dodecagon? It has 12 sides, so we have s equals 12 minus 2 times 180 degrees. We do the math, and we get s equals 1,800 degrees. How do we know that is correct? Take any dodecagon and pick one vertex. Connect every other vertex to that one with a straight edge, dividing the space into 10 triangles. 10 triangles, each 180 degrees, makes a total of 1,800 degrees. Next, let's go over how to find an unknown interior angle. The same formula, S equals N minus 2 times 180 degrees, can help you find a missing interior angle of a polygon. Here is a wacky pentagon, with no two sides equal. The formula tells us that a pentagon no matter its shape, must have interior angles adding to 540 degrees. So, subtracting the four known angles from 540 degrees will leave you with the missing angle. The unknown angle is 100 degrees. Once you know how to find the sum of interior angles of a polygon, finding one interior angle of any regular polygon is just a matter of dividing where S equals the sum of the interior angles and N equals the number of congruent sides of a regular polygon. The formula is S divided by N. Here is an octagon, eight sides, eight interior angles. First, we use the formula for finding the sum of interior angles. Next, we divide that sum by the number of sides. Each interior angle of a regular octagon is equal to 135 degrees. You can use the same formula to find out how many sides a polygon has if you know the value of S, the sum of interior angles. You know the sum of interior angles is 900 degrees, but you have no idea what the shape is. Use what you know in the formula to find what you do not know. Start with the formula. Use what you know. S equals 900 degrees. Divide both sides by 180 degrees. No need for parentheses now. Add 2 to both sides, and we get N equals 7. The unknown shape was a heptagon. 